Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the world of computing power, hitting CPUs against GPUs, TPUs, DPUs, and the newcomer on the scene, QPUs. But what makes each of them tick? And which one is the ultimate champ in this heavyweight showdown? Let's dive in and find out which one reigns supreme. But before we get into the nitty gritty of these computing powerhouses, let's understand what they are. So your trusty CPU is the brain of your computer. It's versatile and well suited for general purpose tasks like running your operating system and most applications. CPUs have a few powerful cores, but they're optimized for sequential processing, which means they handle one task at a time. This makes them excellent at handling tasks that require precise execution, like complex mathematical calculations or file management. Well, GPUs are like the muscle-bound athletes of the computing world. These chips are designed for parallel processing, making them ideal for graphics-intensive tasks and complex calculations. They boast thousands of smaller cores, perfect for rendering images and videos, as well as tasks like machine learning, this powerful architecture allows them to handle multiple tasks simultaneously, making them a go-to for gaming, 3D rendering, and cryptocurrency mining. Moving on, Google's TPUs are specialists in machine learning and artificial intelligence tasks. They're optimized for handling tensor operations, which are essential for neural network processing. TPUs accelerate deep learning workloads and are highly efficient at it. These chips are like the rocket scientists of the computing world, speeding up complex calculations and predictions used in applications like voice and image recognition. DPUs are a newcomer on the scene, designed to offload data-related tasks from CPUs and GPUs. They specialize in accelerating data center workloads, such as networking, storage, and security. This is a game changer for data centers, as it frees up CPUs and GPUs to focus on their core tasks increasing efficiency, and reducing the overall power consumption of data center operations. And now, introducing the Quantum Processing Unit, or QPU. Well, QPUs are the rising stars in the world of computing. These processors harness the principles of quantum mechanics to perform complex calculations at speeds that boggle the mind. Unlike traditional processors, which use bits to represent data as zeros and ones, QPUs use quantum bits, or qubits, that can exist in multiple states simultaneously. This allows them to solve problems that are practically unsolvable with classic computers. QPUs are still in the early stages of development, but hold immense promise for fields like cryptography, optimization, and scientific simulations. Now that you know the basics, Let's throw these contenders into the ring and see how they perform in various scenarios. Gamers, this is for you. When it comes to gaming, it's all about the GPU. With its parallel processing power, a high-end GPU can render lifelike graphics and support smooth gameplay. While CPUs play a role in gaming, their impact is minimal compared to GPUs. Think of the CPU as the referee making sure everything runs smoothly, while the GPU brings the breathtaking visuals. From first-person shooters to open-world adventures, a powerful GPU is your ticket to an immersive gaming experience. For graphic designers and video editors, GPUs are still the top pick. They handle rendering and processing tasks like a pro. However, don't underestimate the CPU's role in the background. It's essential for multitasking and managing complex software. It's like a dynamic duo. The CPU sets the stage by coordinating different aspects of your creative software, while the GPU steps in as the star performer to handle the resource-intensive rendering, ensuring that your designs and videos come to life flawlessly. TPUs shine in the world of AI and machine learning. Their specific design for tensor operations speeds up deep learning tasks significantly. While GPUs can handle these tasks too, TPUs offer much faster processing, making them a favorite in the AI community. 
It's like the difference between a regular bicycle and a turbocharged race car. While both can get you from point A to point B, the TPU does it at breakneck speeds, especially when you're training complex neural networks and making sense of vast data sets. DPUs are revolutionizing data centers. They offload the networking, storage, and security tasks from CPUs and GPUs, ensuring better overall performance and efficiency. Think of a DPU as the backstage crew at a concert. While the musicians, CPUs, and GPUs are busy performing, the DPUs handle the logistics, making sure the show goes off without a hitch, and all the fans get to enjoy the performance without interruption. And when it comes to quantum computing, QPUs are the future. These processors are designed to tackle problems that are computationally infeasible for classic computers. They can perform complex simulations, optimize supply chains, and enhance cryptography. However, it is worth noting that quantum computing is still in its infancy, and practical quantum computers are a few years away from becoming mainstream. Efficiency is the name of the game when it comes to choosing the right chip for your needs. CPUs are energy efficient and suitable for laptops and mobile devices. GPUs consume more power but deliver top-notch performance. TPUs are incredibly energy efficient, making them the go-to choice for large-scale machine learning tasks. DPUs also excel in power efficiency, reducing the load on CPUs and GPUs. Think of it this way, CPUs are like energy-efficient hybrid cars. GPUs are like powerful sports cars. TPUs are like electric vehicles with lightning-fast charging. And DPUs are the smart energy management systems in your home, optimizing energy usage. QPUs, on the other hand, have unique power requirements due to their quantum nature, and their power consumption characteristics are still being researched and optimized. GPUs tend to generate a lot of heat, often requiring robust cooling solutions. TPUs, on the other hand, are cooler operators. They don't heat up as much, which is crucial in data centers and server farms. DPUs are also designed to run cool, enhancing overall data center efficiency. Think of it like cooking in the kitchen. GPUs are the grill that need ventilation and cooling. TPUs are the microwave that heats without a fuss. And DPUs are the well-insulated slow cooker that keeps things simmering without heating up the kitchen. On the flip side, QPUs operate at extremely low temperatures, close to absolute zero, to maintain the quantum states of their qubits. This presents a unique challenge in terms of cooling and maintenance. And when it comes to scalability plus adaptability, these chips have their unique strengths. GPUs are relatively easy to scale. You can add multiple GPUs to a single system for enhanced performance a practice commonly seen in gaming rigs and AI workstations. TPUs, while incredibly fast, are less flexible in this regard. They work best in Google's data centers where tasks can be distributed to multiple TPUs. QPUs are still in the experimental stage, and their scalability depends on advancements in quantum technology. Talking of adaptability, CPUs are highly adaptable and capable of handling a wide range of tasks. GPUs are adaptable for gaming, content creation, and some AI tasks, making them a versatile choice. TPUs are specialized and excel in AI, while DPUs adapt well to data center needs. QPUs, due to their quantum nature, are designed for specific quantum algorithms and may require custom programming for different tasks. As technology continues to evolve, we can expect exciting developments in these computing powerhouses. We may see more synergy between CPUs, GPUs, TPUs, DPUs, and QPUs, making them work together seamlessly. The rise of AI and machine learning will likely drive advancements in specialized chips, like TPUs, making them more accessible to a broader audience. Data centers will rely more on DPUs to enhance their efficiency, especially with the increasing demand for cloud services. Quantum computing with QPUs will open up new frontiers in problem solving, cryptography, and scientific research. So, which one is the ultimate champ in this showdown? It literally depends on your needs. CPUs remain the backbone of general computing. GPUs power gaming and content creation. TPUs lead in AI. DPUs are revolutionizing data centers. And QPUs are poised to reshape the way we solve complex problems in the quantum realm. 
The future is bright for all these chips, with technology pushing their capabilities further. In the comments section, let us know which computing powerhouse you rely on and why. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tech insights at Futuristic Tech and AI. Thanks for joining us today. Stay safe and updated until next time.